So last night the water stopped working in the house. Uh, I went up to the well and it was running, but there was no pressure. Um, so I shut it off, assuming that it's lost its prime. So now that I have some daylight, I'm going to hopefully go ahead and fix that. For a jet pump, priming is real easy. Uh, obviously all pumps are different, um, so you might need to actually remove the pressure gauge, which is a drag. Uh, on this one, I just need to remove this rubber bolt here. Then the rest should be the same for probably any model. Just fill it with water until it overflows, then seal it back up. So let's get to it. Take it off like this. All right, good, it's low, that's, that's a good sign. That means it's probably just the prime that I need to fix here. So I'll just fill it up now. There we go. Everything worked out right. I'm gonna turn this on, we'll start seeing pressure. <laughs> that, was, that was not how I expected things to go. All right, well, I fixed the prime, but now I know why I lost the prime. It looks like I'll have another video to make on PVC repair after this one. Anyways, I hope that makes priming your jet pump a little less scary. It's definitely something you can do by yourself. Uh, just make sure to keep a jug of water or two handy in the house because you never know when you might need it. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.